So the fundamentals then, um, we, we've been taken through the fundamentals. I don't need to linger here. Um, the only thing I wanted to reiterate that has been said by the other two before me um, is that sometimes talk does get corralled into patents only and vaccines only, and that's not what uh, the waiver is about. It's much broader than that. Um, it's other IP rights uh, envisaging copyright uh, designs and trade secrets uh, specifically mentioned. Um, in the proposal, and then it's much more than the vaccines. It's all of these other things. So just to keep that in mind, and that's important to keep in mind at the start of a brainstorm um, regarding domestic action, because that means that uh, the domestic action that we're thinking about is more comprehensive. It's wider than just patents, wider than just vaccines. So Rafi has also spoken about this as well. Um, you know, let's say that the waiver did pass, what would its main benefits be? It would be opening up that window of opportunity, uh, but also removing a lot of the vulnerability um, that developing countries actually have in navigating um, trade laws internationally. So this ever-present threat um, of perhaps having been hauled be before the DSB, the dispute settlement body, is actually quite unnerving um, and actually quite unaffordable. Um, for many developing countries. And as you just heard, even if you win, you will have loss. It comes at a great cost. And so should the waiver pass, it at least takes away that vulnerability. Um, it also takes away exposure from individual nations who go out because they are other means or mechanisms um, that are used to perhaps keep states in line. And so if, if there was a, a mass movement, a mass adoption of the waiver, then you know, no states are, are vulnerable and are out there um, exposed. So that would be that would be good. Um, it would also um, lessen um, the the reliance on existing mechanisms. Um, they are there, but we know that they haven't served South Africa and many other countries well for a variety of reasons. Um, and I, I looked at the list of participants, and I was very happy to see uh, a number of colleagues and friends. And so I know that in the audience, we've got Chikosa Banda, who has written a lot about the uh, shortcomings of the existing mechanisms that we have. You know, I've heard him speak often about how states have not actually used the flexibilities that are available. Um, I listened to him quite recently on that very point. Um, and so the waiver would help uh, in that states would then not need to continue um, relying on these mechanisms that we know um, have not served them to the full extent 